So, in the science of change, a catalyst, a positive catalyst is necessary for you to change. Or the state you're in will always be the state you're in. This is why God sends His people. Or we'll stay at loss for words and at a loss. We will be coping and surviving, but we will not be flourishing. We'll be basically stuck in a state, perpetual state of a prosaic neurosis, meaning we will just live out the dysfunction and the neuroses over and over again. And we'll keep pushing against the world, pushing against people. And the older you get, and the more stuck you are in your ways, the harder to change. This is why the most powerful thing about John chapter 4 and its relation to 180 is the women recognized, the women recognized in the season of Epiphany that this was someone who God sent to her. She knew this was her person. It just happened to be the Messiah. But let me apply this to us. In our own stubbornness, in our own lostness, in our own darkness, when you recognize God has sent a person, His people, in the issues in our lives, in the areas of life we don't want to be touched, the issues we fear most, issues we don't want to talk about, places we're stuck in, and you know God sent them. You need to grab that person because God sent them. 